guys, a wonderful view of my knee right here. I'm doing a tutorial today on how to customize a rainbow model. So first off, I'm going to show you a few things you might need. First off, you're going to need a model. Here I have a horse bin full of models to customize pre-primed. For primer, I use this Krylon Indoor Outdoor Primer. You can just give it a good shake and spray. Two or three coats. You'll also need paint of your choice. Here I have primary color, tube things, um, sparkle dust, and heavy glitter. You could choose those or plain colors. For my base coat, I'm going to use Delta Creative Cream Coat. You'll also want a variety of paint brushes, a mat to squirt your paint on and a cup of water to rinse your paint brushes in. So let's get First started. First off, you'll want to select your model that you're going to paint. I'm going to paint this prime Schleich model. She's a Percheron mare. Alright, so now that you have your You're going to want to select your base coat. As I said before, I'm using a nice, light, creamy color. So take your paintbrush, get any water off of it, dip it lightly in your cream coat, you don't want it dripping everywhere and do light brush strokes on your model. Now primer, the primer I used was either too light or too creamy so you're just going to want to do this all over your model. It's okay if you get it on mane or eyes or the tail since you're going to be painting over that. So continue this until she's fully white. Okay guys, so I have put the base coat of the cream on her it's still drying, but I didn't put it on the main. So as you can see, I popped the caps to all the paint I'm using on. Um, also after, I will show you that in a minute. But these are the colors for the main. It's going to be rainbow. And these have sparkle dust in it. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, guys. So you can see the main. Oops, can't get my brush. All right. So I have selected a brush with this tip, very narrow, and we will start with the forelock of our horse. Um, you're going to want to get, like here, I'll show you, just a tiny bit of paint on the brush. We're starting with light pink. Now I always hold my model by the ear to make sure it doesn't go moving. So I start at the top of the forelock, lightly brush the color downward just where the mane is. I don't know if you can see that. So that's how you're going to do that. And you're going to do a couple coats. So we'll continue that in a moment. And I'll show you a darker color on the mane. Okay guys, so now I've got a little bit of a larger brush. I do have the forelock done. It's a little bit light on the camera. Uh, but it's a bright pink. And um... I think we'll use blue as our next color. So I'm going to get a little more on the brush this time. And you're just going to go over the main piece that you want to do. I'm doing sections of the main since I'm doing multicolor. So we've got it there. Looks really well. We'll go over it again to make it darker. Oh, perfect. And you're just going to do that with each color that you want to use in sections on the mane to make it look like a rainbow mane. So good luck with that. Alright guys, so I went ahead and finished up the mane with those colors there and this paintbrush. Forelock is pink, and there's. Let's see if we can close this window so it's not a fluorescent. Alright. So the main is orange, yellow, green, purple, and blue, and the forelock is pink. And that is what it looks like so far. And the same on the other side. So now you can go ahead and do the same to the tail. She has a squish tail. You can either section off the tail 
or make it bicolored or tricolored. So I would use the same colors. So since horses' manes and tails naturally match each other, so go ahead and paint your tail. Alright, guys, I have finished my tail. I went just like that with the colors. Also underneath here. So we've got the mane and tail done, taken care of. Now next I'm going to add some, we can close up our paint capsules here. Next I'm going to add some jewels. If I can find them, here they are. I've got a nice little um, box here with lots of glittery things. Now, one of the things I have are these. They're little crystal things, and I would like to line them down her back as a crystal dorsal stripe. Or if you don't want to pay a lot of money, because these are about seven dollars I'm guessing for this package since it's that brand you can buy these here which are the cheaper kind they're probably three or four dollars for a pack of those or these I got for a dollar or sticky dots but if you use these please use hot glue or else they'll fall off also if you don't want to use crystals by these sequin stars. So I think they're pretty cute. These are rainbow. So just embellish your model, make it unique. You can use like letters here or something to write your name out on it or beads. <clears throat> so get creative and make a, some beautiful embellishments to your model. So I'm going to make my dorsal stripe and then I'll tell you what to do next. Also, if you do not want to use the crystals, another idea is buying a strip here of um, gems. They come with a sticky adhesive back, which is what I'm going to use because the crystals are very time consuming and they're not as sticky. So you need special glue, which I am all out of actually. And you would also need some tweezers for that. So I'm going to use heart shaped adhesive jump strip for my dorsal. So after that, I definitely will show you what to do next. Alright guys, my dorsal stripe is applied and that is what it looks like. So, oop. Beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do, hooves come last. So we'll get to the hooves later because you want your model all done pretty much. That's how I do it. But we're gonna add something more to the body. Now we have two options. We have, hold on, uh, let me take you down while I open this. Alright, so we're going to add a little sparkle to the actual body. Now you don't have to do this if you just want the highlight on the mane and tail. But I like a little balance of sparkle. So you can either use white glitter dust, you can't really tell but it's glitter dust or this clear big sparkle. Now, I'm not sure, if you're not sure what color you like, take a paintbrush, take your base coat, and make two lines. Now this is a really helpful tip, because I always struggle on deciding what color to use, or what type of thing to use, and then I always end up messing it up. So just make two lines, with a paintbrush. And then take your other paintbrush. Alright, so take some of your sparkle. There. And put it over here. It shimmers a little bit. So, you can see what that looks like. Then you want to take some of your clear sparkle and put it over. That looks really well. So that's just a little tip I have for you. If you don't know what to use, there's a little, you can barely tell it shimmers and then that shimmers. So just 
test out on some paper before you apply it to your model. So next, I'm going to add full body sparkle. Okay guys, our full body glitter is done. You can kind of see it. So there's our model so far. And now I'm going to do the eye, which is just going to take one small dot with one of my smallest brushes, which would be this little brush here. And you just take one dot wherever on the eye you want to make a better effect. So there's that. And we'll do the eye. And while we're at the eye, I'm going to do facial markings. Now for an unrealistic custom, you could almost do any facial marking or leg markings. Leg markings, you could do, since she has a little bit of feathering, you can make her feathering a tinted color. Or you could do, like, gold glitter snip, or do anything you want. I'm going to do a little brand on the hip, like XOX on the hip or a peace sign or something. And then I'll do some tinted leg feathering, a gold snip maybe, and the eye. So be creative with all your colors you have. Now, my paints weren't that expensive, so you should go get some colored paints. I got this for $1.09 and these two for $0.97 cents on sale, uh, courtesy of Joanne Fabrics and Hobby Lobby. That's where I got all those paints from. So. Let's get creative. Alright guys, we have a final finish and um, to our rainbow horse. I have decided to not overspray her with gloss because it turned out really well with all the over glitter and the type of, it wasn't an official acrylic I used, so it kind of smooths itself out. So here's our detail. We have little purple hooves. And I did a, yeah, here's what she looks like. Let's close up this window here, and you can see there her hooves are nice and gray and sparkly, and put some purple on top of that. That's what she fully looks like. She looks really, really cool. So I really, really hope you enjoy making your rainbow horse. Please feel free to ask any questions on um, <clears throat> how specifically I did things. If you want a different type of tutorial, um, please suggest tutorials on types of customs. Because as you know, I have majority of these horses to work on except two of them that have been sold. Um, Please make suggestions. I'm open for anything, and I don't just do painting, but I do um, customizing, customizing, where I'll use all sorts of things to customize a model. So that's our finished horse. Please make suggestions, comment, rate, subscribe. Feel free to ask questions about brands of things I use. Like, you can ask about anything. If you don't know what brand to buy on things, I can make some suggestions for you. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Mwah! Peace.